Hi guys, my name is Kobe. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very quick way to get nice reflection using Cinema 4D's material environment. So I've used the material environment for a very long time, just about when I got to know about it, and that's really helped me in a lot of situations. For instance, in this situation where we're supposed to create a quick um, montage for a news uh, show, and at the time the show was supposed to go on the day we were still working on it the day the show was supposed to start and we had the thing not completed and wanted to get a little bit of some glass and reflection in the um, rendering and it was really really difficult at that time and that, that same night we needed the thing to finish and the machine i was using was very 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 like poor. i think it was just some quad core with about eight gig rams or so and imagine rendering about 15 15 to 20 minutes um video which has a lot of reflections and um glassy kind of look and all that in it was quite difficult so i mean if not for the mat uh, material envir uh, environment a uh, map would have, would have been very very difficult so that's what i use to get um this kind of reflection in in the scene so that it can get me render quickly and it's really instant and it doesn't demand a lot of computation power so your no matter the specs of your machine this is the best way especially if you don't have like the best of machine this is the best way to go around sometimes when you have a lot of pressure work and something you want to do so that was how the environment map saved me about five or six years ago so to apply it it's just as applying any other material so I'll come here and here I have a text so I'll actually change it and call it type pixel in here and I'll go ahead and create my material so I'll come to create new material and I'll apply it to the text drag and drop it on the text and now my material is applied I'll double click on the material to open the material editor and you can see right under the reflectance we have environment down here I'll check it and uncheck the reflectance. Well, in some instances where you, for instance, a floor or something that you need um, the floor to catch reflection and you still need the environment map, you can actually go ahead and add the reflectance. But most of the time, anytime I'm using it in a situation where I want to get um, retrace reflection, I don't usually use the environment map. I actually go ahead and retrace reflections. So in, in places where you want to do simulate uh, physical or real world looking reflection then I, pr I, I advise you use the reflectance but in cases where you want to get some nice look which works and all that you can use the environment map and it's very very fast so i have the environment map checked and nothing actually changes so i need to define which environment it should reflect or i should give it an hdri image so i'll click on this three dots and you can see it leads me into my HDRI folder which I have on my machine. If you don't have, you can actually go on Google and search for HDRI images and you can get a whole lot of them. So in this case, I'll choose any of these ones. So I'll maybe choose um, the town BFPNG and I'll hit OK. I'll say no to this one. And in case you, you don't have internet as well, you can actually come to Cinema 4D Content Browser, come to Preset and click on the search. Um, icon here and type in HDRI and when you hit search you can see there is a, there are some HDRI in Cinema 4D so double click on it to open it and you can see you can actually drag and drop it straight into Cinema 4D or if it's a texture like in this case you can double create your own material and the environment you see where the, these three dots are i'll check the reflectance and check the environment you see where these three dots are that you click to bring your images or the bitmaps in you can actually drag and drop on it on on this and now you have your hdri from the content browser in your material so you can also do that one so so now let's go ahead and apply our material which we have, we've applied it already so now and we've applied the hdri so you can see instantly we are getting some reflections and everything so i'll actually go ahead and change the color to let's say yellow i mean or orange or something because you like it and you can see now 
you are getting some kind of reflection but it's not like how we want it so now let's go into the environment map and play around with it a bit so now you can actually come here the brightness you can increase it and increase the reflection the reflect times look and this is the image we applied in the mixture this is how it applies to the material um, blends with the objects the color whatever you have and this is the strength so now you can actually dial it in here and increase it in here as well so the tiling also sort of tiles it's like any texture so i'll make it three by three to see how it looks and you can see the reflection is showing up but i, I can actually leave it by one by one and what i usually do is uh, i want because it's sort of a sky i want the text to catch the sky reflection a bit so but I, I, I can actually use a bend deformer to sort of bend the text for it to catch the upper one. But most of the time, what I use is I use the bump rather. So I'll select the check the bump, click on here, then I'll come to gradient, click on gradient, and it opens the gradient. So now I'll change it to 2dv and now drag the, this knot in here and duplicate this one. So just click anywhere here and you create a note for you. You can double click on it to change the color and everything. So I'll delete this one. So now we have um, this black to white to black created. And I can right click and distribute note so that it will actually be exact how I want it. The next thing is to now let the bump or the texture fit like the text. So I'll right click on the um, material tag here and I come to fit to region so what I'll do is I'll now click and drag to create and um, to make it fit to the area that I created and now let's see what happens not much because we've not actually increased the bump so I'll come to the bump and I'll make it to like say thousand and now let's see you see now it catching a lot of reflection but sometimes in or most of the time reflection you don't want everything to reflect like so you want it to get a bit of fresnel um, feel so what you do is you to add a fresnel to this um, environment map you have to add the bitmap into a layer so i'll click on this triangle here and i'll come down to layer i'll select layer and now it adds the bitmap to layer you can see bitmap in the layer so now you can create extra shaders on top of our bitmap. So I'll come here and I'll create Fresnel and I'll multiply it. And now let's see what we have. See, it's the front facing part of the camera. It's not showing, but the edges and all that is getting there, catching the reflection, trying to simulate how reflection works. So I reduce the Fresnel a bit to let's say 80 and you can see it's giving us some nice reflection in there so basically that's how it works so i can actually come in here let me create um a glass effect and to create like a glass looking effect same way i'll come here and i'll enable the transparency i'll uncheck color and reflect tans. so nothing happens and i'll select the environment i'll check the environment map Go ahead and bring in my tile material again. See, I'll say no. And let me apply it to the text. And you see, we've applied it. But when we render, nothing happens. Maybe I'll come to the reflectance and say, add a bit of a refraction, say point, even 0.5. Let's render again. Still nothing happens. So, my way around it's usually up the environment air uh, transparency in here i can see we have additive so we check additive and now let's render and see now it's catching the environment material so it's giving us that full so what i'll go in I'll go ahead and add the layer and now add my fresnel multiply it again and i'll reduce it a bit and now let's see what we have so i can actually come into the environment and make this one let's say three by three to give it a bit more you can see instantly you're getting some nice looking um, reflection which 
we can actually use to do our stuff maybe five by five just play about around it to see the look that you think would be cool for you and it renders as quick it's instantaneous if it's if it's instant depending on the like object you have in your scene it can be very very fast and it really really helps in a lot of situation this is how you can actually use it to create a glass looking feel I can also use it for instance I can come in here and check the glass and now you have the only the environment map in here and I'll say change the color of the environment here so I'll come here and I'll make it a bit yellow okay and I'll increase the brightness to like let's say 300, 200 or even 250 or 260 maybe make this one 3 by 3 and I'll go ahead and apply it to the text once again trying to create a gold looking effect and you can see it we give, we're getting that gold looking effect I can still come in here and check my bump which I don't have so I can actually create the gradient again 2 dv um, drag this one in the middle and click here to create another one right click to distribute it so that it is well distributed and now I'll right click and I'll choose fit to region it's most of the time the fit to region I actually do it here so that I'll get the way, get it the way I want so I'll right click fit to region and I'll do it in the front view so that it will be exactly how I want it so now let me go back here and let's see increase the bump to like a thousand now let's render you can see what we have and come to the environment and leave this one it's one by one you can see we're getting some nice gold looking feel you can come out here and play with the colors and all that and all that so it's very very nice way of getting some nice looking reflection you can actually change the color to anything and it's very very cool way of getting some nice reflection so that's about about how the environment map works and it's very very nice way of getting some nice reflections so this is about it see you in the next one